Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hey, hey, hey. It's Hike360 here. <laughs> I'm at Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Cuyahoga Valley National Park. It's in Ohio. Ohio has a national park. I'm here to do the Plateau Trail. So here we go. It's about four miles. I just came from the visitor center, got a bunch of help from the rangers there. I said, hey, what do I do here? Circled a whole bunch of stuff on my map to do. So we're starting with this Plateau Trail. And this is the Oak Hill uh, part of the national, for, uh, national Park. So there's like two or three different trails here. A lot of bailout points, but the Plateau Trail is like four miles. I gotta start my watch. It's like four miles around. So I figure that's a good, that's a good way to start here. Oak Hill Trail, Plateau Trail. I just had something very cool happen. I was walking down, uh, walking, uh, descending a hill and there's this bird flying to the right of me, close to me. It's just, he's riding the wind downhill. He posts up at, at a tree at the bottom of the hill. And I, I get to the bottom of the hill, I'm looking at him. It's a big bird, bigger than a crow. And uh, it's got, it's kind of like a, like a brown bird with white stripes on the tail and I looked it up and I identified it as a bar. Yeah, a broad-winged hawk, which is, it says, can only be found in Ohio throughout their breeding months, which covers April to August. So it totally makes sense for me to have seen this hawk, broad-winged hawk, and uh, in Ohio at the National Park. I just think it's so cool because this land is traversed infrequently enough or is natural enough for hawks to come in and look for mates. So I thought that was really cool. I enjoyed identifying it. And then, like a hundred feet afterwards, I'm looking down the bluff that's to the left of me and there's just this big owl staring right back at me. I'm like, oh, oh my God. And uh, we like lock eye contact and then the owl flew away. Just crazy, the eyes on the owl, um, especially being so close and having it like underneath me. It was barred owls are common medium sized owls found throughout Ohio and the eastern United States. Uh, they just have these wild, dark eyes, like witch eyes. So, that was really cool. Two big birds, one after the other, within such a short distance. And then I'm looking up the omens for these birds, because I like to do that too. And the hawk symbolism and meaning includes intelligence, independence, adaptability, messages, clairvoyance, and spiritual awareness. And then I looked up the owl. The owl symbolism and meaning include wisdom, intuition, supernatural power, independent thinking, and observant listening. So I thought those were two very complimentary symbolic birds to come across. So I'm feeling very blessed, very special to have had the, those encounters and that experience. All right, I think we're over halfway done with this trail. I'm very satisfied. I could go home and be, and feel complete, but there's more to see, so. Catch you guys in the next in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, I'm still at Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio. Uh, right now, I'm hopping on the 
Ira Trailhead to go see Beaver Marsh. And along the way, there's this, uh, well, there's this long bike path. And along it is these canals, this canal. And it's cool. It's telling me that there's 44 locks between Lake Erie in Cleveland and the Portage Summit in Akron. So the Ohio and Erie Canal Way is reminding me, and the locks associated, is reminding me of the INM Canal Way, uh, the Illinois and Michigan Canal Way uh, and lock system that we have tons of videos of, uh, from Starved Rock to uh, Illini State Park, down the line. But uh, those are all along the Illinois River. And so you don't have to go too far to realize that the same technology was being used for other rivers, other canalways. And so it's very cool to, to be here and to be familiar with the reasoning as to why it exists and why you know, this history uh, correlates with the history of the INM Canalway. So yeah, it's cool. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know that that was here. I'm just hoping to see some beavers and otters at Beaver Marsh, uh, which we're about to come up to. So I'll give you a video on the boardwalk, and then I'm heading back to my car to go to the next place. Peace. Cool, so now we're here hopping on the boardwalk to Beaver Marsh, at Beaver Marsh. Lots of lily pads and ducks. Tall grass. I learned that dragonflies are one of the most efficient predators, catching 95% of their prey. place is interesting. A lot of life in this little flooded area. Hey guys, I'm back with the last hike of the day. So we are still at Cuyahoga Valley. Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio. Now I'm in the ledges area. It's uh, supposedly like the ranger's favorite part of the park. Um, cooler, covered by tree, good tree coverage. Uh, so that helps on these hot days. But yeah. Here we are doing ledges, the ledges hike. It's about two miles. Uh, right now it's just rocks. I think it's glacial remnant and that's what makes this part special. All these rocks are um, compressed sediment from however many millions of years ago. This used to be a hot swampy area. Here is our ledges overlook. It's been a while since I've used the GoPro tripod. 